Alright there, procrastinauts, my name's Paboyan, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program, episode 106. Alright, nice. Uh, last time we were here, we did a bit of a look into the new version. It was pretty good, and on watching it back for myself, I realised, well, shit. All I did with, with all the new features was just play with seats, so I think I'm going to have to take it a little bit further out this time. Also, should mention, pretty good response on the last video. All those toilet jokes going on in the comment section. Jesus bloody Christ. That street lamp, that's your fault that is, dude, but Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, funny, funny guy, street lamp man. Let's get this on the go. Right, I've still not designed my own flag. I need to design my own flag. I'm pretty shit at designing things, as you've seen with my attempted thumbnails and channel designs and, and shit. So if you guys want to design me a flag, go right ahead. Let me know in the comment section. Send it to plaboyan at gmail.com. Yeah, go for it. But yeah, anyway, uh, today's episode, I think, is going to be the first of a two-part mission. Um, we're going back to the moon, ladies and gentlemen, I think. We're going to start setting down parts of a base. I've been wanting to do a moon base for ages, and I've actually started building things towards getting ourselves geared up. Let's have a look what we've got here. Um, this will be the first thing that we will have sent there. It's a bit of a beast. One of the things I did say in the last video that the game has had like some optimizations. It's allowed me to build something crazy as hell. Um, kind of like this thing ahead uh, in front of you right now. Yeah, it's uh, a bit over the top, to say the least, but yeah, it's pretty good. Basically what this is, is um, the flying toilet idea that I came up with. Um, a while ago, a while ago, last episode ago, um, I'm, I've kind of evolved it into something that's actually functional. So this is these are going to be like initial landing pads for the things to basically land and refuel on. Um, if I go back to my load and bring up the FES because we've now got it, uh, I've now called it the flying excursion seat. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yep, as you can see, there we go, on the top there, and it's had a bit of a redesign. Uh, I kind of figured that I didn't really need um, that ki those kinds of thrusters, and what I was out to put some of these on and make it more of a giant flying rubber ring. So I've called it the flying excursion seat. So, yeah, it's pretty damn cool. But that's what we're going to be sending there in a bit. First off, we need to get this bloody thing into, the, uh, into position on the moon. Ah, yes. I could not have done this if this was the last version of the game, just because of like how stupid this thing is. It's absolutely unreal. Um, all right, let's go to launch. I believe that's everything's all, all set up correctly. I hope so, at least anyway. Otherwise, we're going to be in for some explosions. And nobody likes explosions. Well, you guys probably like explosions. I'm not a big fan of explosions. Uh, first thing I need to do. Where the? F why? Why are we always there? Uh, uh, let's swing around. Uh, okay. Now, if I do this right, if I end the flight and go to vehicle assembly build and load it, load ourselves back up, we should be in position to do a straight up shot to the moon. Or at least I hope that's the case. I hope I haven't gone past it a bit here. Launch. We, you know what, a good way to tell would be to check on the horizon. Do I see it in the sky? No, I don't, so we could be in the right place here. So that's on, thrust up. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch! Oh god, and that is a bit loud. Let me just adjust that. I forgot that I didn't do this in the last episode. I had to do some manual editing in Vegas afterwards. Get down. Great start, Bobian. Well done. Hi, close, resume. Much better, much better. Right, and the first problem that I've got here is that um, I need control from here so I can see where the hell it is I'm going. Because right now I'm being piloted off one of these little things here. Let's go to IVA and see what we can see. Not a great deal at the moment. But there you go, landing pad. Um, it's not so bad. Not so bad at all. We've also got the lights as well. Oh, and these actually shine as well. So that's, that's good, that is. There we go, so we can see in the dark. Yay! Alright, solids are about to burn, and I need to... No... Oh, God damn it. There we go, there we, that should do. We are going to lose a bit of speed during this process here, but I'm not too fussed because... That was a lot of thrust that we just had, and we've still got a hell of a lot in our tanks. I'm going to 
start doing my gravity turn. It's important that I get this thing's gravity turn exactly right. You would not believe how many attempts I've already had at trying this and the amount of iterations I've gone through. The landing pad looked quite different in all fairness on the initial test but I had to infinite fuel that one because it just didn't have enough to make it uh, to landing on the moon. It, it got us there but uh, nah, it was rough. Rough times indeed. Uh, 18,000, right, start banking over a little bit more. Right, hold yourself there. Just keep yourself nice and at this for us. I'm happy to do this. We are picking up some certain speed. Oh, we're up to 22,000, so I'm going to bank. I'm going to bank a little bit more. There we go, and we'll ride it out like this until the fuel runs out in these outside tanks, and then we'll just go up through the central stage. Job is a good one. He hopes. He hopes anyway. Uh, where is the moon? I don't really see the moon, but never mind. Right, 800. Oh, we are picking up some serious delta Vs here, so uh, I'm going to get myself to sit still. Deploy, don't hit, yes. I really should put stuff on there to prevent uh, things hitting my tanks, but I never get them set up right. You know the Sepatrons, you know the ones. Those filthy, filthy Sepatrons. Um, I've got a problem here. It's a good thing I've noticed this now. All right, which one's which here? I think that's correct. And then that goes there. Yeah, that's correct. That's good enough. Right. I do love the fact that we can actually do that now. It's best feature ever. Right, okay. Go lateral. Where's the moon? I don't see it yet. But we should be coming up on it soon. So let's uh, set as a target. And we'll see what we can do. Uh, we're definitely getting some height, I will say this, and we've got plenty of fuel left because we've got a hell of a... Saying that, we've actually got this stage life. If I can build orbit out of this orange tank here and then get myself to the moon with that, then this will definitely land and we're on for a wiener here. Job's a good one. Job is a good one indeed. Jibberdai Kerman. Loving every second of it. Oh, well, I would too if I were you, mate. You've got the best seat in the house in the Coppola module. Look at this shit. Um, right, control from here so I can see what I'm doing again. God damn it, man. God damn it. So we may actually reach orbital velocity here. Aha, here we go. The moon's up. So let's go for it. We've got an entire second stage to burn here yet. So I'm more than happy to do such things. And go. Yes. No issues, no mess, no fuss. That could have gone horribly wrong and we would have had to restart the mission. And I don't like restarting missions. In fact, I would have fucked off the entire recording, I think. If I'm truly honest. Right, okay, let's go. Burn as much as you can. Let's see how far we can actually get out. Uh, oh god, um, I best not actually time warp that crap because that was wiggling about really badly then. I am going to point directly at the moon. This is old school KSP style, this is. Really old school KSP style. Burning from when you see the moon pop up its cheeky face and then aim for it. Uh, our f tank is going to burn any second and it's going to be gone. How are you doing over here? Okay. And ignite. Thrust up. Let's go. Let's see if we can send it out. I hope that we do hit the moon here. I might have to burn out quite some time and I might have to kill a, a lot of additional thrusts, but hopefully that's not the case. Cue cheesy music. I should have turned it down in all fairness. Uh, here we go. Alright. This is okay. Give me a baby Perfect. Perfect. Smooth. But that is the dark side of the moon, so I'm going to have to do some orbital corrections. We've got plenty of fuel left. Good times. Good times indeed. Let's get this thing on the go. Shine some lights so we can see what's going on. Yay! Because <laughs> I actually remembered lights this time. Flippity flop, flippity flop. I've noticed that there are no shadow occlusions on this. I wonder if that's something the developers will be locking into. Because like, you should not be able to see the landing pad through this, I don't think. But never mind, I'm not complaining. It helps. It helps with my cause. Ah. Uh, here we go. 
go. Good old Mooner trips. I like this. It's easy. <laughs> But I will be expanding out into the farther reaches of space, I think, at some point, definitely. I mean, I want to go places I've never been before this season. I want to go to Moho. Moho's going to be a, definitely a good one to go to. Um, maybe some more of the Moons of Jewel. Maybe even Ely or Drez. Drez is definitely one I want to go to. The Ceres and like, oh, actually, look at this. We're coming down on the light side. I thought we were actually going to be on the dark side. We might end up landing on the dark side if I can't do something about the periapsis. Let's see if we can rotate it. And get ourselves nice and down and ready to do basically a suicide burn. So, yeah. Hopefully we will do. Okay, go yourself there. Take it down. There we go. Just over the crater. That looks good enough to me. It looks good enough for me, it looks good enough for you. Let's do on. Right. You'll notice that there are no landing legs on this beast. Well, there's a reason for this. I don't want landing legs on it. I want it to be perfectly touching the floor. Once we actually land, provided that I've actually landed ourselves on flat ground, because in recent happenings I haven't been able to do such things, but uh, I can just jettison these things off and the base will drop onto the floor and it's usually pretty safe, he says. Alright, there's a lot of wobble going on here, but that's because none of this is actually secured with struts, so that's a bit weird for me. Normally I would do such things. Alright, where are we going? Get ready to burn up all of the fuel. This looks good here, this little dark patch here. So, alright, here we go. No time like the present. Ooh. Ah... Breaking burn for glory. How quick does this go down? It's not quick enough to do a straight up suicide burn close to the ground, but I am going to reduce like n a lot of my speed right now. Um, oh, let's go slower, please. Take it down to about 100. See how my fuel is at that point. Yes, okay, that'll do. Speed up time a wee bit just to help with the pressures of getting down onto the floor. Uh, I've noticed my terrain scatters aren't on. I probably should do something about that. So we've got something to look at nice enough. Oh, going in that crater would have been banging. But it looks like I'm going to have to go down here. We've got stuff to explore. We've got cr uh, this crater right here. And we've got a big ass crater right behind us. Now it's right behind us. Right, here we go. Do some breaking. Try not to use all of the fuel. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go, that'll do. And we should now, like, fall into place. It's a nice little canyon here, but I'm hoping this doesn't mean I'm landing on a harsh ground. It could be. It could well be. You know, I'm always complaining that I never find decent areas to land in, but this is quite cool, this is. I like this. This is, like, the first cool place that we've ever landed. Well, I don't know, I think I went to, like, a few canyons with the Legacy mission, but that was a long time ago. Moon's changed since then, I think. I don't know how much it's changed, but it has. Oh, yes, I think we've got this, ladies and gents. Softly does it. We don't even have to land the thing softly, we just have to land it so it'll land and not tip. Alright, we're coming down. Are my shadows here? Am I? Oh, don't tell me the shadows aren't here either. I'm sure they are. Scumbags, where are my shadows at? <laughs> this is a lot harder without the shadow. Oh no, there it is. <laughs> so, I wasn't... I need the rocks back. They really, really help out. Alright, here we go. Pretty much coming down here, nice and level, and... Nice, and we've actually landed on that in one big piece. So, now it's time to do the dirty. Three. I'm going to quick save it, actually. Three, two, one. Disconnect. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> it wanted to balance itself, even though the sass was on. But right, okay. Perfect. It wants to do a little bit of rolling, but never mind, eh? We can soon sort that out with a bit of modifications here. Oh my god. 
it is wanting to do a bit of rolling, isn't it? Um, Alright, get your sass on there. Hold yourself there, pal. Just hold yourself straight. That's good, that is. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, there we are. We've succeeded in this mission. Let's uh, toggle this and toggle this. Or EVA Jebediah. Oh. Let's get down. Let's activate these. I suppose we don't really need the ladders because we can just fly everywhere like so. Yay. Let's toggle the other one. Get, us, uh, get the base all nice and ready. Right, there's one here. Yep, yeah, there is. Okay, extend the ladder, bitch. Alright, and we're ready to receive this precious cargo. The first of the two um, FESs will be arriving shortly, I think. And I think I'll cut the episode here. Jebediah's got quite a bit of cleaning up to do. He's got a lot of shit to get rid of. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this episode. I've been Plaborian, and I'll catch you all in a bit. Peace out, people. Peace out.